Hey guys, how you doing? I'm HexDSL, and today I'm taking a look at Metropolis Lux Obscura. This is a strange game, it's a mishmash of a couple of ideas. The game is priced at £5.59, it was released on the 11th of October 2017 for Linux, and it's currently sitting at positive rating on Steam. The requirements is Ubuntu 12.04 or greater, 1.2 GHz processor, 4 GB of RAM, and 700 MB of storage. The game's odd. It combines motion comic, which is beautifully voiced and beautifully drawn, with more traditional visual novel elements where you get to make decisions in the story to make it go a different direction. Now, I didn't call it specifically a visual novel because this is very much a motion comic. You pick where to go and the story plays out, but occasionally it asks you for your input. How much of an impact that actually has on the story, I don't know, but I think motion comic more than visual novel is probably fair, and this is very much portrayed like a comic book. As you can see on the screen now, the transitions and the scene changes are all very much in line with a motion comic, and it is very, very well put together. But then, at the end of every cutscene or comic book sequence, the mechanic you have to have is match three. Now, it's a simple match three mechanic, it's different, different items combined in different orders of three or more will make different levels of damage, damage you, or heal you. And then at the end of every match, you then get a perk to use for the rest of the game. If you die, the game is over. You can load up your save game and carry on. You have a choice about where to go in the locations in the map world, but no real choice as to which fights to do. You have to do all of them one way or the other, or at least that's the impression I get at the point I am in the game. This is adult, and that's the key thing here. This game isn't for kids. There's a lot of sexual content, and it's a very grown-up gangster story, but presented in this weird comic book way. The reason I said at the beginning of the video it was a mishmash of ideas was because often when you get these kind of games is you can be really into the story of the motion comic, and then all of a sudden you're taken out of that to do a match three game, and then you're taken out of the match three you're quite enjoying to then go back to this motion comic. And the, the change from one to the other is a little bit jarring, and as much as on its own the motion comic is beautiful and very well done and excellently executed, it's then annoying to leave that. And then you play the match three, which is beautiful and well done and very good and unforgivingly brutal as well i mean it's hard i had to retry most fights i had and it's all about you know taking the lead and having and having more health than the enemy from the early point in the game uh, or the match i should say and it's enjoyable it's genuinely a fun thing on its own each section on its own is very fun but this jarring from one to the other and back again feels somehow off now the visual palette they've used for the motion comic is very washed out and it's intentionally grimy looking. And then when you go into the match three section, the match three board that you're playing on is brightly lit and very easy to understand. The boot is the kick attack. Not that it makes a lot of difference, but the boot is a kick is to symbolize a kick attack. The fist to symbolize a punch. The fist with a chain to be some kind of assisted punch. But they are basically all variants of attack. And then the uh, the gas is a different kind of attack as well. And then the medical cases heal. What's interesting though is that some enemies seem to have, I mean, nothing's actually been said in the game, but it seems like some enemies are more susceptible to certain types of damage. And I hope as I go through the game that becomes more of an element where you have to like try and gas one person or you have to try and, and physically attack this person. And I hope that it's more than just an icon to represent damage. And I do hope it becomes more of a key factor in the game as I play through. The other thing that's very enjoyable is when you finish a match, you get this uh, perk card, essentially. You, you get to take a perk, and then that then travels with you to the game. Like One of the ones I took was Potty Mouth, which means that you essentially the idea is you're swearing and talking trash to your enemy, and it confuses them and makes them skip a turn occasionally. And you can upgrade that. I went from, one from I think 5% to 15% um, just in a few matches by really focusing on that one thing. And it really did make a difference, even early on. As soon as I had it, I felt like, you know, at one point they skip a turn, meant I essentially are doing double attacks, which is very interesting. One of the things on the tile is the character's face, a capped gentleman looking very gruff. Um, whenever you match three, it fills up a bar at the bottom, which is the rage bar. Whenever the rage bar fills, you get a bonus on damage for the rest of the match. So you can fill your rage bar up and get times two damage. So you have to make the choice. Do you focus... Do you focus on getting your rage meter up so you can do more damage in the future, or do you just focus on damage short term and hopefully pick up some rage on the way? It's an interesting mechanic, and it was always interesting when Puzzle Quest did it, where they combined, you know, a story to match three to give you a reason to do the match three. But 
in the end, the changing from one thing to the other is so jarring and so annoying. I wish there was a way I could just go show me the motion comic and I could sit down and essentially watch the movie that is this game. And it, it very much is a movie. It's, it's a, a full motion comic here. So at least it seems to be a full motion comic. Um, it'd be something I'd like to experience. And then likewise, if it just if I just sort of started at the beginning and just played through all the match three, I'd really enjoy it. But the two together is very jarring. And it almost disengages you from one. And then you just start to get back into the other and you're disengaged again. It's a constant feeling of being pulled in and sucked out. Uh, it reminded me of Honey Pop as well in that way. I know a lot of people think of Honey Pop as a trash game. But it's a very good game. It's very... it's it's. It's a good game with a very smutty setting, but the actual gameplay elements are quite solid. Now, in Honey Pop, because it totally matched, because the visual style of the Match 3 board matched the visual style of the rest of the game, it didn't feel as jarring. Where in this one, you're going from these washed out grittiness to a bright and shiny board with detailed art. It just feels too disconnected, almost like two separate ideas plumbed into one. That said, the story is interesting enough that I want to carry on playing. And the match three is enjoyable enough that I want to carry on playing. But that disconnect is might be enough to eventually put me off entirely. But at the moment, I'm enjoying this game. It's interesting. It's got an odd story. And even though I'm not a fan of the gangster movie, this very much is a story about gangs and, and bad people doing bad things. It's so well executed that it kind of makes me interested. But again, the setting of uh, this kind of thing isn't really for me. But the fact that I've stayed with it this long and the fact that I'm interested to know more about this interesting character who's just going out of prison and he's trying to find his way in the world, it's interesting enough to make me want to go back. As I said though, one final note is this game is definitely not for a younger audience. It is most certainly aimed at the adult audience. It has cartoon nudity, it has bad language, and it has some very dark storytelling elements in there so it's something to definitely skip for the younger audience but if you're into all those things and you're a big fan of something like you know, sons of anarchy that sort of tv show you'll probably fit right at home and you'll probably get sucked right in it's interesting and it's definitely worth checking out at a very reasonable price point just bear in mind that disconnect is very real i've been hex and uh, i'm gonna go before i start babbling anymore i think i may i basically stayed on topic here i think i did well <laughs> you can get me uh, on twitter on twitch i stream four nights a week i do youtube videos every day at the moment and i do have a patreon if you'd like to support me and as always this video was created entirely on linux thank you very much for watching my video goodbye